YouTube what's going on. It's Ashton Hall, if you don't know already. Today, we're gonna go through some of my favorite bicep workouts. All right, five to be exact. The first one, we're gonna start with a rope. So you don't need this rope in particular. Honestly, I prefer the ones with the balls at the end, but these do the job too. It's essentially supposed to give you more grip. I prefer the rope for my first movement just because it's like the perfect hammer curl for me. You know what I'm saying? Rather than being on the dumbbells for hammer curls right here, for me, it just feels a little different. I, I rather squeeze onto the rope. So when I'm doing my curls, I'm being very intentional. I'm not just right here, just repping it out, short raging though. I'm getting close, coming all the way up and I'm going all the way down. I'm keeping my elbows tight to my rib cage. I'm not out here. Elbows tight, all the way up, all the way down. <sighs> All right, that's enough of that. All right, preferably if I do have the rope with the balls at the end, pretend that this is a normal rope, right? I'm grabbing the rope right here, coming all the way up and all the way down. <clears throat> yeah, see, even this feels way better than holding the handles. Some people like to hold the, the tips, which is the balls typically, but I prefer to hold the rope. Oh yeah, one set already pumped up. All right, so that goes for exercise number one. Now we'll go to the second one. Oh yeah, that's really good news. New partnership coming. Super excited about that. Second movement, we're gonna be right here. I came to this side of the gym just because the other side over there was a little, little rowdy, I would say. But anyways, my second movement, everything, if you guys notice, I love to do everything isolated. Free weights are cool. I'm definitely going free weights for some movements, but it's never my favorite movement. So this second one right here, we're gonna go straight bar curl on the cable machine. All right. I like the straight bar curl in particular just because we're working the peak of the bicep. Me, personally, I feel it more right here. All right, so when I'm doing these, I'm not right here, keeping the elbows again close to the rib cage. I'm coming all the way up and all the way down. absolutely hate the bicep pump. It just doesn't, it doesn't even look right. Honestly, like my aesthetic, like people always say like, yo, your arms are so big. Like, I don't want to complain about having big arms, but for me, it's not the vibes. Well, I need my shoulders to be a lot bigger. And it's okay, we all have flaws. You know what I'm saying? My flaw is that, you know, my body is not as proportionate as I want it to be, but that's what I'm hunting for. We're gonna get it. For this next movement, we're gonna use something for assistance. This is gonna be my top five just because we can't cheat the movement. Like I'm really big on not cheating your exercises, not cheating your movements, going lighter than you need to, doing movements on my knees just so I could take out all of the bounce. All right, so this right here is like literally impossible to cheat. Like if you have one of these and you're looking to grow your arms, definitely be on this machine in particular at least once or twice a week. So we're gonna come right here. Personally, I like the easy bar. You can go wide or narrow. In this case, I'm gonna go narrow. We're gonna be right here. Start a little heavy. And as you can see, my body, my butt wants to come up. Don't allow that. Keep your butt on the seat and nothing moves but your hands. Even if you have to go a little lighter, nothing moves but your hands. Come on, three more. So, of course we can't leave out the dumbbells. I know a lot of people are like, yo, when is he gonna use the dumbbells? 
I use free weights a lot actually, but typically when I do them, I don't do them standing up. So my next favorite is gonna be the cross curls. As you see, when I'm cross curling, what am I doing? I'm swaying, swaying left and right. You don't wanna do that. So usually when I'm doing my biceps, I'll come right here. If I'm doing my cross curls, I got my free weights, I'll be on my knees right here, right? Of course, everybody has the questions on my Instagram, like if you follow me on Instagram, why are you doing all your movements on your knees? Why are you sitting on your butt, stuff like that? And it's to take the sway out. You can't sway as much. You still can cheat if you want to. But me personally, it allows me to take the movements out. So for fourth favorite, we're gonna be right here. <sighs> Cross curls. <sighs> All right, so as you can see, in any movement in the gym, I repeat, any movement in the gym, you can cheat it. All right, if you're going too fast, if you're focused on getting to 10 too fast because you're in pain, you're cheating yourself. Don't rush through the movement. Swaying back and forth, skipping sets, of course, don't skip the work. And make sure you keep the intensity high. So before you leave that station, usually I'm always gonna do a drop set. You know what I'm saying? Throw a drop set in there. And a drop set essentially is, if you have four sets, on that last set, if I'm doing 100 pounds, right, and I do it for 12 reps, on that last set, I'm gonna hit 12 reps, right? And then from there, I'm gonna drop down to, instead of 100 pounds, maybe like 80 or 70 pounds, and I'm gonna hit it for another six. And if I really have more energy and I really wanna get the gains, I'm gonna drop down from like 70 pounds to like 50 pounds, and I'm gonna go for another six to four, or go until failure. This is how you're gonna get the gains. Movement number five will be on, over here on this side. All right, I'm gonna hook this bad boy up the handle, up to the cable machine. You're gonna notice one thing about me. Everything is time under tension, all right? So that being said, I have to throw in some single arm. All right, and I'm this one right here, I'm gonna literally do on my butt. I'm gonna be right here. And I like to have some support, so I kinda keep this knee higher than this one. And I'm right here, nice and slow. So as you can see, essentially it's the same thing as movement number three, except I'm doing it single arm and I'm on a cable machine. All right, so it's not free weights. <clears throat> I'm going all the way down, all the way up. My elbow is into my knee. It's causing me not to cheat. <sighs> We're gonna do the same thing right here. Again, this knee is gonna be a bit higher than this knee right here. And guys, like I said, this is not something that was taken to the science lab. This is not something that you'll probably see every other YouTuber or freaking trainer have you doing, right? But this is something that personally has worked for me. A lot of people are in the comments. I know they're trolls and I don't like to speak on trolls that much, but a lot of people in my comments like, yo, these movements are stupid. I'm like, yo, they're working for me, bro. Like. It's working, you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Like if you see a movement that you don't particularly like or you don't feel it, you don't have to do it. I'm just giving you what's worked for me. That's it, my experience is, yeah, I'm certified in training. Um, I do my thing, I study a lot. But at the end of the day, all I can give you is what worked for me. I definitely do keep things traditional too. I believe that you don't have to overcomplicate everything to see results. I'm not doing crazy movements, like four or five different exercises in one movement, right? But I do like to get creative and switch things up a little bit. And this is one of those movements, all right? So you're not gonna really see this out there. You're not gonna see this in the history books, but it works. All right, so we're gonna come right here. Woo. All right, so we're actually gonna start a library, an entire library of arm specific workouts. All right, on my app though. I'm gonna throw it on my app because a lot of people ask about, they just think I have this bicep or this tricep secret. And honestly, I have the blueprint. All right, so if you want the blueprint, it's right here, click the link. Um, I'm super excited to drop that the app, man. We're, we're building, a lot of people are showing support, man. I appreciate that really, really from the heart because the more subscribers we get on that, the more I can do for the business, you know what I'm saying? I just brought on a team. I got a wonderful videographer right here. Shouts out to Thomas. 
But yeah, we're building a team, man. We got some big things coming. A lot of big things coming. I want you guys to stay tuned, but uh, I definitely appreciate the support that I'm getting from you guys. That's my top five movements. I'm actually about to, I gotta go board this flight and head to Jacksonville. Then head to LA for this speed run event. If you guys have any questions, suggestions, leave them in the comments. And yeah, make sure you like the video if you like it. Deuces.